I'm going to show you how to put the uh, heater core together. Take your one foot of wire and cut it into two pieces. This one's already cut into two pieces. All right. Use nail clippers, uh, flush cutters. Use your uh, needle nose pliers will work too. They usually have a cutter toward the base of them. There's a long side and a short side to the res this resistor. Straighten your wires out so that they're going away. All right. We're going to start with the short side. Going to overlap this wire and hold it against the resistor. Then I'm going to wrap this like a barber pole. Pinch it firmly and then pull out like that. There you go. Snugs up, cinches the wire. Let me find the other half of that wire. Alright, this one, the long side, we're going to do a little bit different. You see on the short side we've wrapped it nice and even. We're going to wrap this one even but a little more loosely spaced. The wraps will be farther apart. We do that by making this about a 30 degree angle instead of a 45. Okay, and start it a little bit away from the pellet. We're going to need this room to bend the wire later. Wrap it the same way. Wrap it around the wire. Don't twist the two together. Wrap this around the wire. If you twist them together, it'll, it'll be too thick. Pull on that wire and it'll cinch it good and tight. Okay? There you go. This one starts at the pellet. and wraps as tight as you want it. This one starts away from the pellet and is wrapped more loosely. You can use uh, tweezers with a rubber band around them or hemostats, whatever you find that's handy. And prop it up so that you can solder. Yes, we give you the lead free solder. have about 18 inches of it, that'll be enough to do these two solder joints and the next two that you need to do when you do the power jack. Always put a little bit of uh, solder on your soldering iron first. Put a drop of it and that helps transfer heat to your work. Make sure the work and the solder both are well heated. I applied the solder from the top. You can remove solder from the bottom. If you have any excess gravity, we'll put it onto your soldering iron. Wear safety glasses. This solder can splatter. More solder to wet the tip. Make sure solder flows between the, the two work pieces. There you go. I'm going to take my flush cutters, or you can use uh, nail clippers. I'm going to cut this off as close to the wire as possible. You don't want a lot hanging off, okay? And again, put it in there and cut that tag off as close as possible out of your way. Pull on it, make sure it's good and solid. Check your solder joints. If they're shiny silver, they've been plenty hot. If they're dull gray, that means you didn't get the joint hot enough and you want to go back and reheat it. All right. The long side will get bent over. I'm going to make sure that tag ends out of my way, and I'm going to bend this over like that. I'll show you why we did that later, but that's why there's a long side and a short side, and that's why we start the wire a little bit further down to allow room for this bend. Okay? Very good. We're done with that. Hope you enjoyed.